The diagram shows commonly used degrees. Find exact value radians that correspond to each degree. When complete, memorize the diagram. In part A, we'll find all exact value radians using a conversion multiplier. We can convert from degrees to radians using the conversion multiplier pi over 180 degrees. Zero degrees is the same as zero radians. Multiply 30 degrees by the conversion multiplier and reduce the fraction to get pi over 6. Multiply 45 degrees by the conversion multiplier and reduce the fraction to get pi over 4. Multiply 60 degrees by the conversion multiplier and reduce the fraction to get pi over 3. The rest of the radians can be found with similar calculations. In part B, we'll find the exact value radians using a shortcut. In this shortcut, we only need to know two radians, pi over 6 radians, which is 30 degrees, and pi over 4 radians, which is 45 degrees. In the first step, express all multiples of 30 degrees in terms of pi over 6 radians and reduce the fraction. In the second step, express all multiples of 45 degrees in terms of pi over 4 radians and reduce the fraction. We'll begin by finding exact value radians that are multiples of pi over 6. In the first quadrant, 30 degrees is 1 pi over 6, 60 degrees is 2 pi over 6, and 90 degrees is 3 pi over 6. 45 degrees is not a multiple of 30 degrees, so ignore it for now. In the second quadrant, 120 degrees is 4 pi over 6, 150 degrees is 5 pi over 6, and 180 degrees is 6 pi over 6. 135 degrees is not a multiple of 30 degrees, so ignore it for now. In the third quadrant, 210 degrees is 7 pi over 6, 240 degrees is 8 pi over 6, and 270 degrees is 9 pi over 6. 225 degrees is not a multiple of 30 degrees, so ignore it for now. In the fourth quadrant, 300 degrees is 10 pi over 6, 330 degrees is 11 pi over 6, and 360 degrees is 12 pi over 6. 315 degrees is not a multiple of 30 degrees, so ignore it for now. Now reduce the fractions for each exact value radian. In the first quadrant, the fractions reduce to pi over 6, pi over 3, and pi over 2. In the second quadrant, the fractions reduce to 2 pi over 3, 5 pi over 6, and pi. In the third quadrant, the fractions reduce to 7 pi over 6, 4 pi over 3, and 3 pi over 2. In the fourth quadrant, the fractions reduce to 5 pi over 3, 11 pi over 6, and 2 pi. Before we continue, let's clean up our work. Now we'll find exact value radians that are multiples of pi over 4. In the first quadrant, 45 degrees is 1 pi over 4, and 90 degrees is 2 pi over 4. In the second quadrant, 135 degrees is 3 pi over 4, and 180 degrees is 4 pi over 4. In the third quadrant, 225 degrees is 5 pi over 4, and 270 degrees is 6 pi over 4.
In the fourth quadrant, 315 degrees is 7 pi over 4, and 360 degrees is 8 pi over 4. We already have the exact value radians for 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270 degrees, and 360 degrees, so the crossed out radians can be ignored. Now reduce the fractions for each exact value radian. Each radian is already in lowest terms, so we can immediately clean up our work. Even though counting radians may not seem like a shortcut at first, with practice you will gain speed. Before moving on with the lesson, practice drawing this diagram from memory a few times.